We're currently going to the market on a Saturday, so come join us. Say hi. Morning. Morning. We are at Park. Copeland Park Market, and we're gonna go find a bunch of vintage shit, so come with us. Look how cute all this stuff is. Some people will say this is crap. Some people will say this is all. I like it. Look at it. Cows. I love finding the odd things in life. Like that. Oh, I would get that. Oh. I would get that. Look at that. Oh my god. And the dragon. Oh my god, a nice. Look at them. They are obs. Oh. A nice. This is where I go feral. I said the word boots were oh yeah they're very nice. Uh, I'm obsessed with that. Oh my god. And that. Oh, I see a vision for this piece. I'm not sure though. What's that one? Oh, maybe not. Elliot would love these. Elle, if you're watching, you would love these. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. If you didn't know, I have a addiction, so I love ashtrays. I've never been so overjoyed in my life, ever. I'm so happy here. Room, like, turtles! Do you think they're real? Is something that I've seen in my dreams oh, this is so nice many mug. times. Yeah, I, like I am obsessed with this. Hey, look, fruit. You look at those mugs. Where are we? Yummy. We've come to our favorite place, which is 24 hour polo mall, which we usually go to at 4 in the morning. But we're going change of scenery today. Because we want breakfast. <laughs> Because we've been up way too, way too early. You should all come in. My favorite thing to get here is a full English and then mac and cheese. So I might mm. do that. Or loaded fries. Uh, the mac and cheese last time was so. The mac and cheese last time was like so. <sighs> I'm so excited. I want to try that. So that nice. looks stunning. Yes. So I got American yes. breakfast, stunning, with a detox smoothie. I know. So. So health of you. So health of me. <laughs> And she got the Lotus Biscoff <laughs> to the Diet Coke. Absolutely stunning. It's 50% off all plants. They're so cute. I, she looks just so fucking cute, man. I kind of want a little plant. Imagine that hanging in my room. These are about to break even though I got them a month ago. So maybe start investing in a pair of docks because I buy new boots every three months, as we know. So we're going to try these in, but apparently these are the hardest ones to break in. But uh, foot porn, hardest ones to break in. I don't know how I feel. I like. So this is the short one. And then the other one, I don't know which one I like better. Um, so these are the boots. Um, like always, if you are here, come to King's Court. I love this photo booth. If you're ever in London and you're in Cambridge Street, King's Court, this photo booth. Best presets, best photo booth, best. It's worth the seven quid. Quick, I don't know. My ass is stuck. My ass is stuck. Anyway, we're gonna see how that turned out because apparently I fucked up on the first one. So. I feel so pretty today, what the fuck? Probably because I'm greasy. Yeah. Oh look, this is our last day here, we'll be the 5th of April. No! Find us in these locations, scan it. It takes 4 minutes to come out, it's honestly the longest 4 minutes of my entire life, so... Shit, hello. Yeah. Oh shit! Why is it going down? Fuck off! That is so upsetting! It's been a while. Um, every vlog that you see is actually really scared because recently I've just been so busy and also lazy and I don't like recording and I just like every time I've gone out I haven't like looked the best and I've just like, kind of been making excuses. So here's a jewelry haul because I give TikTok my jewelry hauls constantly like every day like 24 7. So here's an everyday jewelry haul of everywhere I get and it's actually in depth because a lot of people have asked me. Also we hit 50k. Um, I'm sick as fuck, I know. Anyway, here's my everyday jewelry. We'll start with ears downward. I recently just pierced that ear because I got bored and I was a bit manic. So I went, eh, pierce. 
These three are actually from AliExpress. Like I buy all my stacks from AliExpress. It's, it's really, really easy to interchange and they just don't rust and they don't like, you can wear them in the water and stuff. So it's fine. Then I'm a hoop girly. Hoops for life. I'm a silver girly, more mixed metals. But I either like these ones, which are like little fat hoops, these hoops, which are like twisty and they look better with the curly hair or the bamboo ones because I'll just change between those three. I don't like anything else. Necklace wise, this is my summer stack. I usually like wearing more gold in the summer, but this one's from Rachel. This one's from Rachel Zoe, and this is also very Rachel Zoe. I like gold, silver, and pearls a lot, as you can, as you can see. And then these three charms I got in Nice, France last year. Yeah, and I just attached them to the necklace, and I quite like them, and I like stacking them and layering them. My two prized possessions is a necklace Elliot got me for my birthday, which I actually adore. It's also a heart, very, very cute. And I've showed it multiple times on my TikTok. And the new white gold Tiffany necklace I bought for myself. And it just kind of like clips like that. And it sits. When it comes to necklaces, I love statement necklaces. Like I have so many, like I'm obsessed. I like finding a lot of stuff in like charity shops and shit. And then just like finding it and then layering it. Like I love doing certain things like this and I think it's absolutely stunning and I think it just gives everything to like an elevated outfit and then also even like a sil simple outfit like I love being covered in jewelry the boys are always like you're a magpie's dream and I'm just like I know I know before the pearl before the Rachel Zoe necklace the pearl one it was this one by Enoch it's a jade necklace which I am absolutely obsessed with and I also do change it out in the summer I think that's absolutely beautiful Sterling Silver Band, and I just added this cross to it. And I think it just elevates an outfit so much by nothing. And I made it into a choker. And then another thing that I recently found in a charity shop is this clear pearl necklace, which is like the water droplets. And it looks so sick, man. If anyone comes for me with the patchy fake tan, I haven't washed it off yet, piss off. The, the hands. These three coin pearl bracelets i also got in nice france with my mum with all they are my mum's this bangle is my mum's and i like as i said before i like mixing tones like gold and silver this hand chain which i'm getting i've just got another one for this hand it's from every jewels i absolutely adore every jewels and i'm getting a package very very soon with their new stuff new collection this is my mum's old gucci bangle and then this is my Italian charm bracelet. I absolutely adore it. I, this was the first one I had and I had certain things of it like the chain and the cross and all these little ones. And then my favorite ones, which were the first three, which are like 2004, the Harley Quinn logo, cause she's insane like me. And just one that says daddy's girl, which I think just ties in all three. And then from the empty spaces, this is, I made the second one, which just has a bunch of like random, little ones like hello kitty and ice creams and shopping on it like i love and a watermelon and i think that's so cute and pretty and i just like that's my everyday type shit and then when it comes in the summer i like incorporating more bohemic type stuff this is a handmade cuff which is like made out of like beads and amber which is the natural stone of my country which is lithuania and it's really really cool or this one which is like a very egyptian it's made out of bamboo gold and obsidian I think it's absolutely so beautiful and I just like wearing it like here and it's just like oh actually sorry recently I did just get these two cuffs as well so I can mix gold and silver together for the summer but this one's so so beautiful but when it comes to rings so I change out my rings a lot but this one I have a little flower one which is my mum's I've got this one this is the hibiscus spoon ring and roots i'm not a big fan of pandora but i've got two pandora rings which is the blue jade disney collection and then this little heart pendant which is like a little locket which i quite like uh this one's also from en route and it has has a little septum and a little ball and it like kind of re it doesn't connect in the middle which i quite like this is a tiffany ring that a man gave to me in italy whilst i was his escort long story short he used to pay me to go on dates with him never slept with him but he used to pay me to go on dates with him. And then when I told him I was leaving, cause he was basically, I lied to him and I was like, I'm leaving. I have to go back to my home country. My dad died or something. And then he was like, no, I'll fly you to Qatar, please stay with me. And I was like, no. His dad was like this really, really famous singer from Italy, like from the nineties, weird. But yeah, he would pay me to go out with him and pay for my meals and pay me to teach him English. But then he got really obsessed with my hands and feet. 
I was really odd and I got scared so I left and then this is a blue little ember ring which I like I like thick rings recently I've liked thick rings but I love silver like silver I think just works on me and gold also works but it, I think it just really really clashes when I wear a lot of it so I like gold around my neck and ears and then silver on my hands because my hands are always paler than usual you know so yeah that's my little jewelry haul that no one absolutely no one asked for at all <laughs>